Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Why did that echo? Is that echoing outside? No. Oh, I swear I'm either hallucinating and sleep deprived, but when I just say it echoed for miles. After I uploaded my video this morning, I realized I made such a mistake. There was such a missed opportunity. This is how I should have started Vlogmas. It's Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain is falling. It will always be Christmas in my heart. But this year I want to hang out with my friends and family. Making angels in the sand, you and me. Doesn't matter if it's Christmas. of deciding that I'm gonna post a 35 minute video yesterday and still edit it to the best of my abilities. There wasn't enough hours in the day. I barely slept. But that's okay as long as you don't skip yet. Is my hair technically in? Oh, she held on for dear life. I didn't fall asleep until like four in the morning and then I woke up around seven. I'm gonna work on that because I don't think that's sustainable. The only reason I think I woke up so early was because it was 84 degrees in the house. Something is going wonka donk with my heating system in this place because it's either 64 degrees and you can see your breath or it's 84 degrees and you need to be naked. I didn't even put my Christmas jammies on last night. That's how out of it I was. I need to take a shower. Do you see this hair? You actually probably can see my dandruff because that's just been an issue for the past few months. The plan for today is very up in the air. The only thing I absolutely have to do today is I'm getting my nails done. We only had one casualty. What if I just cut my hair off? I'm already saying that on day two. Heaven help us. I think we're gonna have to pick something out of the jar that we made yesterday, just because. It'll help us decide whatever our activity is for today, but there are mandatory things that I have to do just because they're Vlogmas traditions. I need to decorate the outside of my house. I have bought a plethora of outdoor decorations to decorate my house with. I went so hard for Halloween, I have to go even harder for Christmas, and I need to decorate my car. Those might be the only requirements. I might save the outside decorating for the weekend. That way I can recruit Samantha to help me. That's going to take a lot of strategic planning. I don't think you guys understand how many decorations I bought for the outside of my house. The wiring that we had going on for Halloween just wasn't the most efficient. We want to be better for Christmas. And I haven't bought anything new because I need to know if the stuff that I already have is too much or not enough. I will say I woke up with this situation feeling so much better today. I don't even think I have to take DayQuil. I think I'll be able to survive without it. I moved the McDonald's bag from the back round of the video yesterday into my bathroom and said I'm just throwing it away. You already know what must be done. Taking a poop. I'm skinny, I'm winning, and all you bitches are such cuties. I would never call you ugly. Don't you know me better than that? My shower door needs to be cleaned so bad. I even keep one of these in here in hopes that I'll use it one day and I've yet to pick it up. Maybe today will be the day because this is not good. We'll be and having a good, good time. <gasps> what happened to my armpit? That was the best shower I've ever taken in my entire life. Showering when you don't feel good or you have a stuffy nose is honestly one of the top 10 experiences I feel like you can ever go through as a human being. It's too cold to leave my house with wet hair. This is what I put in before I blow dry it. It's the Liquid Glass Miracle Soothing Sealant. This has heat protector in it too. She doesn't know I'm doing this, but I just wanted to wish everyone happy vlogmas. I might scare her. Okay, anyways, love you Sam. I hope you're having fun editing and I hope you get sleep tonight. Okay, bye-bye. I remembered I had this headband. I'm sorry, Cindy Lou Who. The question is, do I wear it? Like, all day. This is everything that I needed this morning. While I was blow drying my hair, Sam came home with this Diet Dr. Pepper from Sonic with the bursting bubbles. I thought the bursting bubbles were gone forever, but I guess we thought wrong. My outfit of the day is Buff Bunny snack pants, my Uggs again, and this sweater that I got from Walmart. But unfortunately, I already have a hole in the armpit, so I don't know how great of quality it is. I haven't ate breakfast yet, and I told myself that I was 
gonna go to the store and get yogurt, granola, and strawberries and try to have a more nutritious breakfast this morning. But that isn't gonna happen. Can you guess what I'm about to pull out of the freezer? Jimmy Dean biscuits and gravy. I've never had this one actually, so I have no idea what to expect. It's already 11.30. I'm off to a way later start today than I was yesterday. I love that I told you guys I'm trying to be healthier, yet all you have seen me eat, oop, duty calls. Ah, that looks suspicious. I'm not gonna judge a book by its cover though, but it's not looking good. All you guys have seen me eat are Jimmy Dean breakfast meals, a French dip, and cereal. And I started my day with a diet Dr. Pepper. That's what the holidays are for. I kind of live my life like it's the holidays all year round when it comes to food. Maybe that's my problem. <gasps> How long has that been unbuttoned? Is the ghost in my house trying to see my boobies? Uh, why is it watery? I don't think I'm gonna like this. Don't be scared, it's just a frozen meal. Disgusting! That might be the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. Absolutely not eating this. A protein shake for breakfast it is. I just knocked it off the counter with my booby. I never put a garbage bag back in the garbage can yesterday. Now we can put Mr. Jimmy Dean where he belongs. Bye, bitch. <laughs> It's time. No peeking. The tub has spoken. Decorating my car. I guess that means we need to go shopping. To the store! That made me cringe. I just got to Target. Oh, by the way, I'm Cindy Lou. He's the Grinch. Didn't want to come to Target to get these decorations because Target is so overpriced. I get that they're Target and they can do whatever they want. Wait, am I gonna go into Target with Cindy Lou headband on? What will you give me if I go into Target wearing this headband? Will you like the video? It's giving Jojo Siwa. But the reason I came to Target is because if you guys watched yesterday's video, I explained that I got pickpocketed, so all of my cards are gone and I haven't received all of them in the mail yet. I went to the bank yesterday and I got like, a replacement card. The physical card won't come in the mail for like a week but i was able to add it to my apple wallet so now i have a card in my apple wallet and target has apple pay how am i gonna pay for my nails it's 12 o'clock the mission is go inside target and only buy decorations for the car i have no plan i'm probably gonna buy a bunch of random shit and then we're gonna go to our nail appointment and then we're gonna decorate the car also i think my suitcase should be coming in the mail today that's a whole story i left my suitcase on the side of the highway on the way home from wisconsin and one of you guys went and picked it up and shipped it to me i can explain but we're gonna have to do that later this needs to be a quick target trip i'm also really insecure about the headband what would you do grinch I hate you! Let's finish this. I'm gonna try and not be a little scaredy cat. I have nothing to be afraid of. If someone asks you what you're doing, you just tell them. I should be proud of you guys, not ashamed. I'm gonna go with the headband. This is so dramatic. This is so extra. Surely people have seen stranger things than a girl wearing a Cindy Lou headband. I'm just doing it. Target! <laughs> This is everything. I'm already looking for things that aren't decorations for the car. <laughs> it might be too tight on the boobies. I do not know how that happened. Walked in and they chose me. Why is it that the second our appearance looks slightly different or we're doing something like slightly uncomfortable? You become so aware of your surroundings. Like I feel so uncomfortable in this store right now, but it's literally no different than any other time I've come into Target. People are staring. This is exposure therapy. <laughs> just occurred. I don't want to share this with you because it's something I'm very insecure about and I find very embarrassing even though it probably shouldn't be seen as embarrassing. When I opened the trunk to put the bags inside, I saw this box of Cheez-Its. Since I didn't eat breakfast, I was like, mm, it does sound real good. I grabbed the box of Cheez-Its and I started snacking on them. For some reason, me snacking on those Cheez-Its just triggered a binge for me. I never tell anybody when I binge. I never share when I binge. It is something I'm incredibly private about because I just find it embarrassing. It's a very vulnerable thing. And I don't necessarily know why it happens. I, I binge when I feel happy, when I feel sad, when I feel anxious, when I am overwhelmed. It's like there's a million things that could trigger it for me. It's something that I work on a lot. And I don't know why I thought that I was gonna get through December without binging at all. On my way to the nail salon, I passed the McDonald's. I just ate it and I feel like crap. And McDonald's isn't the issue. I'm not saying you can't eat McDonald's. The issue is quantity of food you eat when you go. And I'm not gonna share that quantity because that could trigger people, I don't know. But it's just frustrating when you don't wanna be controlled by something, but it continues to control such a big aspect of your life. I know it's only day two and this video is not gonna be sad. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. I'm 
still gonna go work out, treat my body good for the rest of the day. The worst thing you can do after a binge is just continue to binge all day. When an event happens, accept it, try and figure out what you think caused it, forgive yourself, and continue on with your life. You can't be mean to yourself about it, and that's something I struggle with and I'm working on. I could easily just not share this, I guess. But I think something about 2019 Samantha that I really admired is she wasn't afraid to just be so incredibly vulnerable. I think it was because there wasn't as many people watching, so it's obviously less scary to go in front of less people, but I don't really want to be afraid anymore. I guess I'm just sharing this for the one person out there that might also struggle with with binge eating the way I do, or honestly any type of eating disorder or addiction in any aspect, just to show you that you're not alone. When people put themselves online, they're putting their best foot forward, they're putting the highlights of their life. So it's often easy to see all these people and wonder why you don't live the life that they live, why you don't have your shit together like they do, whether it be in your career, in your friendships, and your relationships. People wanna look as good as they possibly can online. In my experience, the people that look like their lives are so perfect are usually the people that are struggling the most in silence. I feel like I've closed myself off to the internet a lot over the past few years because at the end of the day, it is really scary to have so many people giving their opinions on your life and telling you that you just need to get it together and that if they had what you had, they would be happy, so you should be happy too. I started all of this to say that your girl binged. It really wasn't that big of a binge. It wasn't that bad. I just don't feel great. When I used to binge on McDonald's, I would get a lot and I didn't do that this time, but I still would prefer to have not done it. I'm not gonna wallow in it. I got my feelings about it out. This is literally like my journal diary for the next month. My feelings are out there. It's off of my chest. It's not a secret. I don't have to feel guilty about it. So I'm going to treat my body good for the rest of the day. I'm not going to let it send me into a spiral. We're going to go to the gym. We're going to work out. We're going to feel great. And you don't have to work out just because you overeat. But for me, it helps me feel better. Yes or no? Yes? <laughs> Are you jealous that Dobby is getting pet? You're as close as you can get. Say cheese! My nail appointment took a lot longer than I was expecting to. It's already getting dark outside and I haven't been able to decorate the car. All we did was go buy the stuff to decorate the car, but we haven't actually decorated it. That is posing a small dilemma because I want you guys to be able to see me decorating the car and if it's dark, I don't know how you're gonna see that. Keeping it rolling. I forgot that I bought this Hogwarts sock advent calendar. It is only 15 days long and Vlogmas is 25 days. <gasps> oh my god, I just gave myself the biggest cardboard cut ever. It's fine. Happy Christmas. Oh, they just go in order though? I thought they were supposed to be all random. Number one is in this top corner. Let's see what socks we're putting on tonight. They literally match the picture. Is this one big spoiler alert? Are all of the socks gonna match the pictures? Oh my gosh, wait, I accidentally saw the next pair of socks. Operation Decorate Car. Oh, this really hurts my finger. Beans make her dance. Beans make her dance. Let me show you guys the stuff that I got from Target. I really hope this is enough to decorate the car. I can always get more if I have to. I got this Merry Christmas banner. I don't know where I'm gonna put any of this until I get in there and I'm in the moment and I see what I'm working with. This isn't for the car, but I got Duncan a stocking for the fireplace. Saint Nick comes on the night of the 5th. I have to make sure there's stockings up for him to fill. I couldn't not get mistletoe to hang in the car. Not gonna be kissing nobody. It's just for nostalgia. I got this lighted wreath. I don't know how I'm gonna hang this so you guys can see it, but I do have a plug in the back seat of my car, so I'm thinking we just hang it on the seat. I got these little magnetic hooks and some command strips. We're gonna have to get crafty for this, I think. Anything's possible if you believe. Am I right? Three sets of lights. I got a big bow to put on one of the headrests, probably one of the ones in the back seat. These are to hang the lights up with. In my Jeep, I had like the metal bars that form the cage of the Jeep. I don't have that anymore. I'm hoping I can use command hooks. But now that I'm thinking about it, 
It's fabric. These won't stick to fabric. I got little ornaments to decorate the wreath with. I got Duncan a sweater. He doesn't look excited. I got two blankets to put in the car. For when Duncan's riding in the back seat and he needs to take a little nap, I got him a pillow. I don't know why I haven't got him a pillow before. I'm very into cheesy Christmas decor. I saw these and I kind of thought they were cool. Garland twisty ties. So I can just put these in a bunch of random places and that's everything. Based on how much I used to put in my Jeep, it doesn't seem like enough. I used to wrap the roof of my car. I can't do that anymore. Say hello. Again, okay, they're over there. They're in front of you. Nope. To the left. Let's see if the sweater fits. I weighed Duncan this morning. As I told you guys, he's been on a diet. Duncan either has something wrong with his thyroid or somebody was eating the cat food. Duncan got really big, really fast, like almost to the point where I didn't notice it. I wasn't feeding him any more or any less than I always had. I took him to the vet. He was 41 pounds. That was months ago though. And ever since you've been on a diet, do you want to tell them how much you weighed today? He was 35 pounds. He needs to get down to like 31, but he he looks so much smaller. He looks like a puppy again. This dog hates being on a diet. I don't blame him. I hate being on diets too, which one of us likes being on diets. But with their backs, because he has such short legs, it's really like important that they're not overweight. So we're getting there, buddy. We're getting there. I know you know what's going on. Bitch, back the fuck up. Stay five feet away. I got weird looking toes. Dobby! Oh, hi, Dobby! You get so jealous. Or if I play dead. It's good to know that you love me though. This might be the best money I've ever spent. Hey, don't be mad. Just embrace the sweater. It's a good look. Want to show up? Here's the sweater. My name's Duncan and I wear cute sweaters. I'm about to beat this bitch up. You don't have to stand in one spot. You can move around and do your daily activities. The daylight's gone and it's not even 5 p.m. How you doing? the dirty clothes in question. I have super sensitive skin. I used to use these things that went viral on TikTok and everyone was like restocking in these really fancy looking containers. They would make me break out in vicious hives. Think of every crevice of your body. I had hives there. This is what I would use for the longest time. Tide plus downy. This will show you how influenced I am by TikTok and the trends. I saw one person post a TikTok video about how bad Tide is for you. I don't remember what they said was bad about it or what it was going to do to me. It was enough to make me buy a different laundry detergent. I didn't do research on this one, so this one could be just as bad as Tide, but I do know that Ivory is the brand of soap that I'm currently using on my vagina. I've switched to this stuff. That was probably a lot. Sam told me that you don't need as much laundry detergent as you think. Meanwhile, I was over here putting it to the max fill line. I probably shouldn't wash all of this in one load. I used to trust color catchers when I was doing my laundry. Yeah, no, don't do that. I've ruined so many clothes because I would throw them all in the same load assuming that color catchers were gonna fix my problem. Only do that if you want to be disappointed. I sound like a wimp and a baby, but this paper cut hurts so bad. I'm pretty sure I have more clothes in my room. Hold on, separating underwear from leggings can be so annoying. Every night in my dreams. I used that song in my video yesterday and now I cannot get it out of my head. Something from yesterday's vlog that I want to talk about because <laughs> I was so shocked. I've been reading the comments all day. Before I go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna go and respond to a whole bunch of them. I promise you I'm reading all of them. If I can't respond to everyone, it's just because I have a lot to do. I mentioned, oops. <laughs> When I get sick, I stuff my nose with toilet paper, and I've always done that. But every single person I've ever came across judges me for it. They think it's gross, they don't understand why I do that. When I put that in the video yesterday, I genuinely believed every single one of you guys were going to roast me for doing that. A half of the comment section on Vlogmas Day 1 is just you guys talking about how you also stuff your nose with toilet paper when you're sick. It seems like almost every single one of you at least knows somebody that does it. I do not know how to explain to you how validating it has been knowing that this this part of me that I've always been ashamed of isn't unique to me. Other people do this too. My washer came with this nifty little thing that I use to scrub stains. I know nothing about stain removal, so this might be like causing more harm than good. Oh, I've been looking for these jeans. It's amazing what happens when you do your laundry. That is our chore of the day. <laughs> if you didn't say bless you, 
F you. I'm gonna creepily film outside of Sam's door right now. I think she might be taking a nap. Something you should know about Samantha, she's the biggest Swifty that has ever walked on this planet. I was actually able to get us tickets to the Taylor Swift concert in Nashville. A lot of the Midnight's merch came out around Sam's birthday and I knew nothing about ordering merch from Taylor so I ordered a crap ton of different stuff. Assuming it would come in time for her birthday because I paid for like priority shipping on everything. It's been slowly coming over the past two months which is fine. I just forget that I bought stuff. This came in the mail today. I will say I'm assuming when I bought it I thought it was bigger. We're just gonna leave this on her door. She brings me soda. I bring her Taylor Swift things. It's an unspoken symbiotic relationship. No! She almost jumped out the window. This is kind of random but also not random at all. I never showed you guys the picture that I hung up for Snickers. This is one of my favorite pictures of her. Me and Sam got the cute little footprints. I hung it up right here. I have some other things I'm gonna hang up of hers. I just haven't gotten around to it because sometimes looking at her makes me sad still. I know I've seen a few comments of people saying that like they've recently had to put their animals down. Trust me, I know how hard that is. Usually when I walk by here, I go like this because I don't want her wherever she is. Oh no, oh no, I'm gonna get sad. I don't want her wherever she is to think that I ever forgot or I'm ever gonna forget. I made myself cry by showing you this. I was fine. This doesn't count as me crying during Vlogmas though because these aren't like stress tears. It's I miss my cat tears. I brought all the decorations into the car. I want to put these little garland ties. This is my plan. You just wrap it. Oh. Okay, wrap it around. Pretty sure these were cheap too. Oh, they're shedding. It's doing something. Not sure what. I also feel strangely like vulnerable with my garage door open. If you see anything bad happen to me, you have to call the police. You'd have to know something's up when I don't post Vlogmas Day 2, but my house is pretty much done being decorated. My car and the outside of my house are the only things left. You know, I never get in the back seat of my car. It's kind of roomy. I bring a coffee in the morning. She brings be in a piece. Louis Capaldi's new song comes out at midnight. You bet your buttholes. I'm gonna listen to it the second it comes out. Louis Capaldi is hands down my favorite artist. The Grinch is gonna have to be a front seat rider. You've been upgraded, my friend. I have this little loop that I could potentially stop it right now. Where's that mistletoe? Like you're kidding, right? I could literally put stockings in here. I'm sorry, this has been a game changer. I feel like the lights are gonna be the most complicated thing to set up because I only have one outlet in my car. So they're all gonna have to plug into each other, including the wreath. So that has to plug in there. These are really short. I have one set of fairy lights that is battery operated. So my plan was to put those around these. Okay, Target, you have this in one big old knip shit. Why did you do this to me? Watch me blow out this fuse. <laughs> How dangerous is this gonna be when I turn the car on? I'm gonna use this, hang up the lights on either side. They're clear and they just snap off. Keeping track of the little papers that come off of command strips is the worst. They end up everywhere and you'll find them for months. Okay, I'm banking on the fact that car fuses can explode. I'm not trying to be dramatic or anything, but my camera clip just cut off at the same time that my door shut. And I thought Sam maybe snuck outside. I was on the other side of the car and this door shut. And it was open when the camera shut off. I heard it close, like this sound. When I went to go grab my phone, it wasn't recording. Like I started recording a new clip when I picked it up. That is a little spooky. I was so certain Sam was messing with me, but she's literally nowhere to be found. <laughs> Tie that to this. I think that would be iconic. Why am I so good at decorating cars? Out of all the skills I could have received, decorating my car for Christmas. Beautiful. We hate tags. Tags are for weenies. I really need to get in this container. It's sealed like the fate of the world depends on it. I'm getting in there my way. I tried to do it the right way. Destruction is the only answer sometimes. It worked. Now I just have to put all of these ornaments on. <laughs>
was for some reason the hardest thing I've ever done. I've realized there's nowhere for me to put the Merry Christmas banner. I'm gonna put these blankets over the seats in the back. My neighbors are definitely wondering what I'm doing in my garage with a ring light in my car. I'm just laying them on the seat itself. It's more of a protection for Duncan. Here, it's all cozy. He lights up. Is my car iconic? It's not quite as good as the Jeep, but I think I compromised pretty good. what it's like to live with Samantha Jo during the most wonderful time of the year, AKA Vlogmas. Um, we just got back from the gym. She needs to eat something. We're whipping her up to get yo's and meatballs. Duncan just burped. Always put a paper towel over this because they will explode. We're also gonna make her protein drink. Let's get our things together. Today we're using, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's from Target is what she said. It clumps up really bad. So we're gonna try something. We're gonna take a scoop. Oops. We're gonna put some in the cup, like half. Water. Oh, you know what? No, it's like steaming. We're gonna mix it. Oh, you can't see. Sorry about that. We're gonna mix it as water fills because it clumps up really bad. Probably so not the right way to do this. I'm not as educated as Samantha is on things of this nature. Okay, see what I mean? That's gross. We're gonna scoop some of that out. But I'm also going to give her a different straw. And just like you guys, I watch these videos and I have a mental thought about things I see. And I would be like, you're gonna give her that straw after you've touched it. No, I'm not. I hear ya. Here you be today. Bowl is very hot. That's why we wear sweatshirts. So you don't have to get out to oven bin. You wanna go see your mom? This is scary. Knock, knock. I come bearing presents. My Savior. <laughs> Reality of Vlogmas. This is where I spend my evenings. The <laughs> gourmet. Brought you your protein you drink. You brought me protein? You need it, sister. She's the most thoughtful human. This is gonna be so good. My heart beats Happy for Vlogmas. you. <laughs> <laughs>